Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala rasulillah wa ala alihi wa ashabihi wa man wala amma ba'du Walillahi alhamd we have reached the 30th ayat from surah as-sajda and with this we will complete our journey through this surah and by no means is this a end all or super detailed uh, discussion rather it is briefly the vocabulary the introductory arabic grammar as well as as well as an introductory tafsir so that you can understand it with a good general meaning inshallah and some with some depth there's a few things that have been able to achieve uh, some depth into and you can build off of this and have a good understanding inshallah to go further in this surah and others inshallah ta'ala without any further delay allah azza wa jalla says fa'rid anhum referring back to those who are calling for the day of fat the day of decision the day of judgment to take place allah says fa'rid anhum fa'rid to turn away fa is so or therefore or hence or thus a'rid turn away anhum from them turn away from them one tadir one tadir and wait this is from the same root noon the ra as yun the room to given to be given respite to give it delay so one tether is form eight of noon the ra meaning to wait just to wait form eight meaning to wait one tether fa'rid anhum one tether turn away from them and wait in whom indeed they are mun tatherun they are those who are waiting, meaning they are waiting as well. They are waiting for that day as well, arrogantly, nonetheless, but they're waiting. Fa'rid anhum, turn away from them, one tadir, and wait, innahum mun tadirun. Indeed, they are waiting. As for the grammar of this ayat, then the fa is what they call al-fasiha rabita li jawab shart it's an answer to basically a a condition which uh, is not mentioned here it could be fa okay after this conversation therefore then this anyway fa is a harf Right, mebni ala fa is, is a half mebni ala fatha. Right, arid arid is a fil amr, a command verb. Mebni ala sukun and the fa'il is a demir mustatir takdirahu anta. You turn away. An hum an is half jar hum is fi mahal jar. After the harf jar, one tether, the wow is harfu atf. One tether is like arid, meaning it's a fil amr, mebni al sukun. The fa'il is a demir mustatir, takdirahu anta. One tether, inna hum inna is a harfu nasikh. And the ha here is fi mahal nasb, ismu inna, muntadirun. Is khabaru inna marfu wa alamatu rafihi al wow. Wa alamatu rafihi al wow. That's your grammar. As for the tafsir, then it's straightforward, inshallah. Allah Azawajal told. The mushrikun to listen to these ayat because many times we hear pull say to them, say to them, say to them. So listen to these proofs. 
yet they still make fun of them. And they ask, when is going to be this decision? So Allah, he's answering them that mentioning when it's going to be is of no benefit to you. Mentioning when exactly is going to be is of no benefit to you. But here's going to be your condition. Here's going to be your condition, right? You're not going to benefit from your iman on that day. And you won't be sent back or given any uh, delay. And the certainty of the matter, even if you knew, is not going to benefit you either. Fa'arid anhum. So turn away from them. O Muhammad, O Prophet, O believers. Turn away from these disbelievers who are asking for this rush of punishment. And wait, one tadir, and wait. In the humun tadirun, indeed they too are waiting. So wait until Allah sends down their punishment upon the disbelievers, and helps you against them. Indeed, they are as well waiting for that day. This is the end of this tafsir, this brief journey. But inshallah, it's been blessed for me. As, as hopefully, it's been as blessed for you as it has been for me. If there's any questions about this, then you can always contact me below and we'll try to answer it. Subhanaka lahumma bihamdika. Ashadu wa la ilaha ila anta. Astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayk. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.